Hey guys, so I'm out here in Minneapolis and it is absolutely gorgeous. Check this out. I mean, it's kind of a city, but it's beautiful outside. But I just wanted to cut a video and just say hey to y'all since we haven't like talked in a while, I guess. Um, and I just wanted to kind of talk about some, some uh, tips for, I guess, how Lauren and I make long distance work. Because um, the majority of our re relationship is, is definitely done long distance. I mean, we both tour. I mean, we tour together sometimes, but I tour out and then sometimes I have to come to Minneapolis like now. And, and it's tough, you know, it's, it's a struggle. There's not a lot of people that can do it. I was just lucky enough to, you know, find the girl that can. So I just realized I had chocolate like right here the whole time I was recording that last video. Sorry about that. Can't really see anything that's going on. It's a little bright out. But anyway, my biggest tip, the biggest thing that we do to make sure that our relationship stays solid is that we communicate. It's like 100% about communication because when you, when you leave, a lot of people tend to build little worlds in different places. They kind of, they have their friends, for me in Minnesota, they have their friends in Nashville, they have their friends on tour, and they don't take time to make sure that their person is involved in every aspect of their life, just in their one life, in that one place where that other person is. So yeah, I mean, it's just about making sure you talk and keep them involved. And, make it an integral part of of every relationship you have that your significant other is involved, whether that's your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Make them just as involved as you are or as, as much as you can so that you don't lose the connection between the two of you. Yeah. That's about it. This ice cream is bomb, by the way. Tip two for making long distance work is plan, for me at least, plan for the future, plan for the days you are together, but also plan to just like be able to be spontaneous. You don't want to lose the spontaneity and all the planning that you do just because you're not around each other as often. Um, but for me, it's buying gifts, it's, it's, booking tickets to a concert that you've always wanted to see together or, or just making sure you know you, you make it out to the park and you just get to hang and talk and give yourself time to to grow together and to bounce ideas off each other um, because I mean really that's what a relationship is about for me is, is having that other person that you can bounce ideas off and that has a similar ideas as you and um, but different enough that they challenge you and they push you and they kind of make you stretch in ways that you didn't really know you could hmm. or I'll buy you ice cream you know whatever I swear guys I'm really really trying to not have ice cream on my mouth in this video but this is just too good and I just got it and it's beautiful and this is like my only time off in Minneapolis, so you know, you kind of got to seize the moment, as they say, right? Especially when you have ice cream. You can't let it melt. Tip number three. Never wait for the other person to call. Just make the call first. Because if you're constantly sitting around thinking the other person's missing you and they'll call you and they miss you and, and that you've got other things to be busy with, well, they've got other things to be busy with too. I guarantee you. They're not just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Waiting. So call. Be the one to call. Set aside time. Because it is important to reach out instead of constantly being the one that's being reached out to. Because it's this whole dynamic that you are equals, that you are both just as in love with the other person. So make that known, make that obvious. 
be a pursuer just as much as you love being pursued. So yeah, that's everything I got from Minneapolis. I hope Lauren's, I think she's got hers done. So I hope we didn't say the exact same thing, but you know, I suppose if we did, that's a good thing. Yeah, then we get the same things in mind. Anyway, later. See you guys in the next video.